we're going to be having a look at some of the task automation in Hornbill. So we start off in the Hornbill administration and uh, from here we're going to select the service manager application where we're going to add in some automated tasks. So we start by going to the workflow option and select our business processes. Now from here I'm going to select one of the, uh, the existing example uh, workflows and we'll just open that up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, break this connection uh, between these nodes and I'm going to add a new node just by dragging out. So the first task is going to be a human task. So this will be a task that we assign for a person to, uh, to complete. Uh, the first field is going to be um, just for providing a display within the BPM so you can easily identify what that node uh, is used for. The uh, title for the task is going to be the title displayed to the person that this is assigned to. Now there's, uh, there's two different assignments for a task. There's an owner uh, who could be the person who oversees the, uh, the team. So he'll have visibility and access to all the tasks. And then we have the assign to option. So we can either go to a user, uh, a group or a role. In this case, I'm just selecting a group. And so everybody in the IT support group will have visibility of this task. And then we have the task details. So this is just a little bit of information that we can provide within this task so that the person that this is assigned to has uh, some uh, information to go on. Now there's outcomes that you can define for a task. Uh, these are going to be buttons that are available. So when someone completes the task, they'll be selecting these options. So I'm just going to change these to uh, solution found and no solution as the other outcome. We just click away from that. So we're going to draw a lineup from here and we're going to add in a decision node to work with those different outcomes that we've just provided. So when we connect through to this form, we now have this uh, question mark where we can click on this and we select the solution found outcome, which will take that path. And if we add in um, another option here, uh, if there is no solution, this will be the path that the workflow takes. Now in this case, I'm going to create an automated task. And what this is going to do, if no solution is found from the first line team, I'm going to automatically assign this to the second line. So again, we just type in the uh, display to populate our, uh, our display on the, the workflow. And then we have a number of preset options. So we're going to select the assign option and assign request. And simply all we have to do is type in the team that we wish to assign this to. And finally, we'll just connect this back into the workflow. And then uh, we save and activate. So now we move over to the, uh, the service manager client and I'm just gonna walk through raising a new incident. Uh, so we select our customer, uh, followed by one of their assets. So I'm just gonna select their desktop and move on to the next. Uh, and we'll provide a summary and description. So desktop issue, desktop issue. And select one of their services. And the priority. So that completes the adding of our incident. Uh, we can see here that's not yet assigned to a team. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is assign this back over to our service desk. So we click the assign, select our service desk team, and in this case, I can even select a particular individual and we'll assign that request in. Now down under the activity list, we can see that automatic um, activity that was added in for a human uh, task. And there's our two outcome options. And we can here in this case, uh, provided we've done the investigation and we've not come up with a solution, we can click the no solution option and then we can see that the team has been automatically reassigned to the second line support team.